Uh, I'm Jane. I am the partnership manager for the Kent High Wheel Partnership. Um, we work in the borough of Tunbridge Wells and we do a range of projects that involve the natural environment from land management through to very community focused projects, um, particularly working in communities of disadvantage. Working with the conservation volunteers over the years, our strapline is linking the community and the countryside. So what we do is not just for the benefit of wildlife and ecosystems, it's also for what our volunteers and the local community get out of the work that we do. Now that side of our work has spread off of the nature reserves and into the town, into the communities as well. The idea behind the men's sheds is it's a kind of club where guys can go do handicrafts, do hobbies, do projects together or have their own self-driven projects. I'm Tim Tempest and uh, I'm officially taught chairman of the uh, Sherwood Shed and really uh, with Dick Robinson <clears throat> back in February 2015 we became the sort of the prime movers in taking forward the idea of building a men's shed and with his help and facilities we've been able to sort of raise the funds to actually take the piece of land and convert it into a shed that people can come here certainly at the moment two days a week um, and with ladies starting a group that now meet on a Friday. So the shed is in use three days a week, apart from other incidental uh, meetings. When we started work in Sherwood, we were working primarily with the local housing association. They were the landowner for the site we were brought in to manage at the time. Uh, the site's now gone into a community charitable trust, and we are continuing to work with them on taking care of the site. However, in the meantime, we've also picked up additional work with the local health team who are funded by Kent County Council Public Health and um, through that we've also been able to work with the Sherwood Partnership which is a multi-agency body involving lots of different groups such as Job Centre Plus and the police and um, social services. What we've been able to achieve by working in partnership in this way is a diverse range of programmes to meet the complex needs of um, the community here. So in doing that, what we've actually been able to do is tailor what we do, working in the natural environment, to suit the needs of people who wish to refer people to us. So in the early days, we had referrals from the Housing Association. Uh, we would have had referrals as well from um, the health team, but now it's moved on. We get referrals from local GP surgeries, um, from charitable trusts such as the Shaw Trust and West Kent Mine um, and others such as health visitors, children's centres. They're all able to recommend us and to send us the details of people who may benefit from the programmes that we run. We've always uh, known that people get a lot of benefit from volunteering with us, from just uh, being out in the natural environment uh, in a green area from doing uh, healthy exercise in the fresh air and from uh, just socialising with people they might not otherwise meet. We very much consider that we're breaking new ground in what we do in terms of conservation. It's long been recognised that the natural environment offers wellbeing benefits to people. Um, but it's really only in recent times that public health and clinical commissioning groups have started to consider that as a way of really helping communities to build resilience and to um, begin to self-manage problems that they have. So we're now taking that as our main way forward and we've been fortunate enough to have support from a range of groups that means we've been able to set up almost a model of programmes, different programmes to meet different needs within these disadvantaged communities. What we would really, really like to do now is to um, make use of everything we've learned and it's uh, it's been an interesting journey changing the way we work but we are now connected to many different partners who are able to refer people to us and use what we've learned and roll these programs out into rural areas where there are pockets of deprivation but they're often not picked up upon.